Hi, my name is uh, Lieutenant Colonel Andrew Wagner. I'm the B Flight Commander here at uh, Robbins Air Force Base. Uh, you're going to see a lot of what we do here, but one thing I always like to tell my airmen and uh, everyone that works in the flight is anytime we go out, we're just basically uh, we're preventing exposure so that way we don't have patients. So when we go out and we do our job across the wing in the ALC, uh, we're looking for uh, things, that we, things that we can do to help workplaces uh, prevent exposures and that way we don't have uh, more patients in the clinic. So enjoy your time uh, learning about what we do. Thank you. Hi, I'm Staff Sergeant Natalie Patton from the Bio Environmental Engineering Flight. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about what we do here at Bio. Bio Environmental Engineering's mission is to provide operational health risk management expertise to enhance commander's decision making and the health services support. Bio plays a vital role in ensuring the safety of 23,000 military and civilian workers at Robin, Robbins Air Force Base by providing routine bacteriological testing on our water systems. We oversee the quality and compliance of 1 million gallon water systems containing six active wells. Approximately 350 individual water samples are taken annually. The bioenvironmental engineering flight supports and protects 248 shops on base, with 83 of those shops making up the largest respiratory protection program in the AFMC, boasting the highest fit test currency rate in the Air Force. Through fit testing, we support wartime readiness by ensuring proper sizing of the M50 Seaburn mask. In addition, B manages the fit testing of the 3M7600 series, 6000 series full and half face, and the N95 mask to ensure workers are protected from toxic chemicals and biological hazards. So our job is actually really cool. We get to go out on the flight line in different planes and we're able to see um, what other workers are doing and what hazards they're exposed to on a daily basis. Um, we get to be in here with them, uh, get to check out what they're doing and make sure that they're using the right precautions. So sometimes whenever we go out to different areas, there might be a positive sample that we have to identify. Um, occasionally we'll go out to different areas and identify where in the well there may have been a break and identify why there might be a positive for bacteria or E. coli. All right, thanks for taking out the time out of your busy schedule to come check us out up higher today. I hope you were able to learn a lot about us. So feel free to always come back when you can and have a nice one.